so in uh, question number 10 we will solve a problem on two body oscillations. Here it is given that on a smooth surface there are two blocks M1 and M2 joined by a massless spring of force constant K. Now the spring is slightly stretched and released or slightly compressed and released it means the same thing you have to find the time period, find the time period of oscillation. oscillations if the spring is compressed or stretched and released okay so we'll begin the solution like this so this blocks M1 and M2 spring of force constant K say this moves towards the left by X1 and this moves towards the right by X2 ok. So let us draw the blocks again the blocks will go to these positions the spring is stretched by a total distance of x1 plus x2. So, this will be the force k times x1 plus x2 and the same force will act on this k times x1 plus x2 while this block moves in two directions. So, let us carry on from here. M1, M2, okay. So, this is displacement x1 and this is displacement x2 and force k into x1 plus x2 on both, okay. So, I can write it, say I write the equation if I apply Newton's law on the left block. So, I can write M1 d2 x1 dt2 equal to minus k times x1 plus x2 right. So, I also could have applied Newton's law on the right block then I, I would have written m2 d2 x2 dt2 is equal to minus of k into x1 plus x2 ok it means the same thing you will reach at the same answer. So, now again as the center of mass of the system does not shift as center of mass does not shift we can write m1 x1 equal to m2 x2 this is from our concept of center of mass. So, therefore, I can write x2 equal to m1 x1 by m2 right. Now, I can substitute this value of x2 so that I can get a differential equation in x1 only. Now, I will substitute this result here. So, I get m1 d2 x1 dt2 equal to minus k times x1 multiplied by 1 plus m1 by m2 right now I mean if you substitute x2 from this expression here therefore you get d2 x1 dt2 equal to minus k times m1 plus m2 by m1 m2 multiplied by x1. Now we already know the solution of the differential equation if if d2 x dt2 is minus omega square x then the time period of the oscillatory motion is 2 pi 
by omega. So using the same logic, I get here d2x1 dt2 equal to minus omega square x1. So omega is here root over of k here m1 plus m2 by m1 m2. So therefore this is the time period. So this quantity m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 denoted by mu is also known as the reduced mass of the system. And hence the time period is equal to 2 pi by omega that is 2 pi root over of mu by k mu will get from this expression <coughs> and also the so the individual SHMs so the individual equations for SHM for the two blocks will be like this say this m1 and this is m2 so say the amplitude of this oscillation is a1 and this one is a2 now we know that both are at the extreme position simultaneously and mean positions also simultaneously both have the same time period so when this uh, goes by a1 this will go by a2 simultaneously na? both are at the extreme simultaneously okay so using the shift of the center of mass so in the last page we have used na, m1 x1 equal to m2 x2 so in this case also i can write m1 a1 equal to m2 a2 so you can find the relation between the amplitudes and equation of m1 is x1 a1 sin omega t plus phi that depends on the starting position and x2 equation of m2 x2 equal to a2 sin omega t plus phi and say if if the spring is initially stretched by distance x naught and released then we can write this x naught is the sum of the amplitudes a1 plus a2. So, in this way we can solve the equations of the system. Right. Now, next we will learn one more method for solving the uh, sum of the problems in simple harmonic motion. So, that is the energy method. So, energy method energy in SHM is constant. <clears throat> so that is why we can uh, write for this E total energy is equal to constant. So you can differentiate this dE by dt is equal to 0. Okay. So uh, let us suppose take up this very very simple case this spring block system m k this is the fixed end to find the time period. So we can write E equal to half if this is displaced by x so this will gain a velocity v which is x dot so half m v square plus half k x square so therefore differentiate this e with respect to time d by dt you get 0 implies half m 2 v dv dt that is d 2 x dt 2 plus half k 2 x dx dt is v that is equal to 0. So, from here you get the expression d 2 x dt 2 equal to minus k by m x. So, 
again uh, this is equivalent to this expression the basic differential equation from which we have solved at d2 x dt2 is minus omega square x so omega is root k by m and hence the time period is 2 pi root over of m by k now now so, uh, we will solve a problem using this method and show how it works so basically when it involves rigid body rotational ke also that is more helpful say one problem like this here so this will be question number 11 i guess yeah 11 so this is a spring and somehow the spring is attached here to the center and suppose this is a disc so this is a disc of radius r mass m and rolls without slipping on ground okay to find its time period now let's see now we can also solve this by the traditional force and the torque method but that will take more time here so here i can write here solution this suppose the center of the disc goes forward by a distance x and hence you can write v equal to x dot and acceleration equal to x double dot ok so I can write e equal to here e equal to half k x square as this is the center of the disc move forward by x so the extension in the spring is x half k x square plus half uh, can so this is the instantaneous axis of rotation so it is half about the instantaneous axis it is 3 by 2 m r square into omega is v by r v by r square so therefore e equal to half k x square plus 3 by 4 m v square now you can differentiate this expression with respect to time so you get 0 on the left side equal to half k 2 x uh, x dot means v plus 3 by 4 m 2 v into d 2 x dt 2 right therefore d2 x dt2 will be equal to minus of um, this 2 and 2 will cancel here this will cancel so 2k by 3m multiplied by x so this is the omega square hence omega is root over of 2k by 3m and hence the time period is 2 pi root over of 3m by 2k.